Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review and today I have the EX-230 Pro HDMI extension kit from our good friends at O-Ray. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 40 meters away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or up to 70 meters away in full 1080p resolution over a single CAT6, CAT6A or CAT7 LAN cable. Now, before I get too deep into all the features this product provides, I always like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and that way you'll understand exactly what you get if you buy the product. And then I'll provide a complete overview and point out some of the things that really separate this from a lot of other HDMI extension kits on the market. I'll even take a closer look at the transmitter and receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators. And then I'll come back one more time and remind you of some of the things that I really like about this HDMI extension kit that you can use to compare it to others you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the transmitter module and the receiver module. You'll also find a set of brackets you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. You'll find two power supplies, one for each of the modules. These are standard DC 5 volt, 1 half amp power supplies. You'll plug them into a wall outlet, plug the other end of the cable into the module, and that's all the power you'll need to operate the system. You'll also find a set of infrared blasters. I'll explain those in a minute. And a full instruction manual that lists specifications, connection diagrams, and other really important information you'll need to understand about this solution to use it correctly. Now, the product itself is unique in a lot of different ways. For starters, it handles 4K video. A lot of the HDMI extension kits in the market only handle 1080p video, or they really only provide a very short distance of extension between the primary and secondary sites. Again, 4K video up to 40 meters away is pretty impressive. Another really important feature is this product provides what's called local loopback functionality, which means you can continue to enjoy the content at your primary site while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the secondary site, which means you don't have to give up the enjoyment of that content here while you're sharing it with that secondary site. Another really important feature is the audio extraction capabilities at the remote location. It allows you to strip the audio from the HDMI media stream and pass that along to a soundbar at the remote site for better quality audio. Finally, they include a set of infrared blasters, and these are really important because what they'll do is collect up the remote control signals from that secondary location and pass those back over the same LAN cable digitally to the primary location to be rebroadcast, which essentially allows you to control the content from that remote site that's located at the primary site. So you have complete control over play, rewind, fast forward, and that just gives you a lot of control over the content. Now, if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take a closer look at both modules and explain the connections so you understand how to use it. And then I'll come back again and point out a few things that I really like about this product because I think O-Ray's done a great job with this product and I really like it. So stay tuned next for the closer look. Inside the kit, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. Both of these modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable. I'll start with the transmitter module. On either side, you'll find mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. On the rear of the module, you'll find a reset button on the left-hand side. If you need to reset the module for any reason, hold that in for a couple of seconds. It'll reboot the module and come back online. To the right of that is a LAN port. That's where one end of the cable between the two modules plugs in. To the right of that are two infrared blaster ports. Now, the kit includes two infrared blasters that look similar, but they're a little bit different. On the transmitter side, you want to plug the infrared out module into the IR out. You're not going to use the infrared in port. To the right of that is a power indicator. When you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. On the other end, you'll find a DC power port. You can use the included power supply. You'll plug it into a wall outlet. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there. To the right of that are two full-size HDMI ports. The HDMI in port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with the remote location, standard HDMI cable. And because this provides local loopback functionality, you can plug a second cable in here to a local monitor to enjoy that content while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote location. The receiver module is fairly similar. On the one end, you'll find the reset button. Again, you can reset the module by touching that. The other end of that cable plugs into this LAN port right here. Two more infrared blaster ports. Now on the receiver side, you'll plug that particular infrared blaster into the infrared in port. And again, they're clearly labeled. To the right of that is a power indicator. Mounting holes on either side for the brackets. On the rear of the unit, again, a DC port here for the second power supply. 
To the right of that is a 3.5 millimeter analog output. This unit provides audio extraction capabilities. You can run a cable from here to your soundbar to get better quality audio off that HDMI media stream. And then finally, one more HDMI connection right here. You'll use a standard cable between this and a monitor at the remote location to enjoy the content. And that's pretty much it for both of the modules. Very easy to connect them. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray EX-230 Pro HDMI extension kit to others you may be considering. The first thing has to do with the resolution any product can support. This product is fully compliant with both 4K video and 1080p video, and it can also extend those quite a distance. So with 4K, you can extend it 40 meters. With the 1080p, you can go 70 meters away. A lot of other products on the market may only handle 1080p video or lower resolutions, or if they handle 4K video, they really limit the distance you can extend the primary and secondary sites. Another really important feature that I like a lot is the local loopback functionality because that allows me to enjoy the content here at the primary site while I'm simultaneously broadcasting or sharing it with that secondary site. A lot of other systems on the market don't provide that functionality, which means you can only watch it here or you can only watch it there. It's an either or situation. With this product, it's both. You can watch it at the primary site and the secondary site at the same time. I also really like the audio extraction capabilities, which basically strips the audio component from the media stream and allows me to pass that through an analog connection to a soundbar or home stereo system for better quality audio at the remote location. That's a real big improvement. And then finally, the inclusion of the infrared blaster kit gives me complete control of the content from that remote location by gathering up the remote control signals at that secondary location and passing those back digitally over that LAN connection to the primary location to actually broadcast them to control the content. That's a big benefit. A lot of other systems on the market, you basically start the video, run to your second location to enjoy it, but you don't have any control over it at all. So I like this system an awful lot. I've used it for quite some time, and I think you'll like it as well. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.